and from the Bush Street Norfolk city-owned parking garage. I know there was a camera right above my car that I can't seem to get anybody to pull to try to pinpoint a picture or mugshot of who did this. What Rousey didn't know, he parked under a camera that wasn't working, even though a parking garage sign read, Garage Monitored by Surveillance Cameras. We discovered eight of Norfolk's parking garages had no surveillance cameras operating. Following our investigation, a shift in Norfolk City budget priority. The goal here is to have all garages outfitted with brand new security technology, by the end of the calendar year. And a week ago, the city put online this safety video on how that goal has been accomplished. Working cameras now in all 14 parking garages. We've replaced all of our cameras systems in our garages with new cameras. These cameras are recording all are 100% operable. And every Friday, the cameras are checked. Norfolk Parking Director Ray Stoner. To watch the cameras, to look to make sure that all the cameras are functioning. If a, if a camera isn't functioning, that's immediately given to our IT uh, partners and their, their third-party contractor to determine why it's not uh, monitoring. We also have relamped about a half of our system. We went from a low efficiency metal halide lights to high efficiency LED lights. They're brighter, whiter lights. Three sets of lights, one in the center. We get more candle power by just putting two rows in than having three. So it's, it's an energy saver and it's a much whiter, brighter light. We outsource it to a private security firm, the Norfolk Police Department, and also the Norfolk Sheriff's Department. We have the flexibility with three different entities to move these officers around to different locations. You know, no one really knows the schedule for them, and it, it provides for a safer product for our parking customers. The safety video is the brainchild of Norfolk's Director of Communications and Marketing, Chris Jones. We wanted to be able to visually illustrate that, to show that these changes have been made, that it's come you know, from the mayor and council to the city manager down to staff to make sure that people had that extra comfort. Stoner acknowledges 10 on your side reporting something wasn't quite right was part of the solution. We listen to our citizens, we listen to our customers, we listen to the media, and we make adjustments when things aren't right. And we did the story and you made adjustments when mm -hmm. something wasn't right. Correct. And the next course of action is to get Norfolk's next city budget to include LED lights and five remaining parking garages. So far, seven have them. My hunch is based on past performance by the city, the new budget will include those LED lights. In the newsroom, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.